In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, slope plot for your interaction effect in Smart PLS. It's fairly easy. Um, it's already built into Smart PLS. All you have to do is create an interaction variable to start with. Uh, in this model, we have everything predicting skill acquisition, and I think there's a positive effect from innovativeness and from active coping and from computer self-efficacy, all positive effects. But I think that the combination of active coping and innovativeness will be uh, multiplicative. There's an interaction effect that should be there. Active coping should strengthen the positive effect from innovativeness to skill acquisition. So the way I test this is I right click on my dependent variable, add the moderating, moderating effect, select my moderator, which in this case is active coping, and my uh, independent variable is innovativeness. And then I'm just gonna leave these all defaulted for now. Uh, you can go read into them, it's all over here on the right. Hit OK. It creates this moderating effect. It hasn't made any calculations yet. All it did, I'll show you, all it did was um, made a product variable out of the factor scores of uh, these items. If that didn't make sense, don't worry about it. Um, it just made an interaction term. Hit Calculate. Go to PLS Algorithm. It's going to run it with the defaults. And at the bottom, well, first, I guess we could look at the moderating effect. Here it is. Um, it has a positive effect. All other effects are positive, although CSE probably isn't significant. Um, and what we can do is we can look at the simple slope analysis here at the bottom. And that's what we want to see. It's kind of skewed. If you take it uh, out of here, click on the chart button, hit OK, and go over to uh, wherever you want to put it. It could be in Word or PowerPoint or wherever. Um, the format is actually much better outside of Smart PLS. So you look at it here, and what this is showing is the blue is uh, active coping low, so one standard deviation below the mean, so that's low active coping, whereas uh, green is high active coping, standard deviation above the mean, and then um, with no high or low, just at the mean, is the red. So the red shows us what our regular effect is, not considering the moderating variable. Uh, in this case, we have a positive effect between innov innovativeness and skill acquisition. But active coping, the ability to cope with problems in an active way, um, aggressively uh, attacking the problem instead of hiding from it, uh, strengthens this positive effect, as shown in green. Whereas if you are not an active coper, an active problem solver, then innovativeness still has a positive effect on skill acquisition, but it is a weaker positive effect. So that shows us we have a moderation going on. Now if you want to see if that was actually significant, um, not just looked good, you could go to uh, do a bootstrap real quick, bootstrapping. This is just how we tell if things are significant in Smart PLS. Run it, and you can see the p-value for the moderator is actually less than 0.05, um, so it does have an effect from another video I just created. You could also see if that effect was uh, meaningful, if you click on F square, and it looks like, no, it's not a meaningful effect, uh, but it is statistically significant. So take that for what it's worth. Hope that helps.